Hey everyone, it's Andy. Do you want some clean tone? Well, forget it because it's Rat Week on Demos in the Dark. Thank you, Andy Martin. <laughs> God, that was Andy freaking Martin. Did I jump the shark on Rat Week on day one? Maybe. Nah, we got some cool stuff coming up. Got another cool several days coming up. Trust me. Um, but Andy, thank you. If you've never contemplated the impact that that one man has had on guitars and amps and pedals, do so. At some time, just make sure you're sitting down when you do it, because it's like pff, once it hits you, you're like, oh, my gosh. Um, but thank you again, Andy. Friend, mentor, hero, legend, Andy Martin. What better way to start 2021 than by celebrating the most celebrated distorto box of maybe all time? The Proco Rat. And we're going to specifically be looking at the LM308 chip Proco Rat. And I understand that that is a contentious topic. And we're not here to decide that, whether the LM308 chip is, in fact, superior. That's not what we're doing on Rat Week 2021. We may do it Rat Week 2022. Let's see. I don't know. But not this year. This year, we are going to celebrate the LM308 chip and we are going to celebrate modern builders who have decided to build variations on the Proco Rat using the LM308 chip. And uh, we will compare those to this. This will be our, our, our barometer. This is uh, my very old uh, vintage uh, LM308 uh, equipped rat. And uh, we will compare them to this pedal. And then we will compare them to each other on the sixth day. And then on the last day, we will rest. <laughs> so we're going to be looking at the Jam Pedals Rattler. We're going to be looking at the Stomp Underfoot Skinner Box. We are going to be looking at the Greer Amps Gorilla Warfare. We are going to be looking at the Big Ear Woodcutter. And we will be looking at the Greer Amps Gorilla Warfare. Tonight, we are going to start with a pedal that I know Andy Martin loves. We're going to take a look at the Jam Pedals Rattler. Sit tight, here we go. All right, so I have a 2012 Fano PX6 running into a 1967 Fender Baseman. The settings are gonna stay the same uh, for all of the videos. And it sounds like this. So, key differences that we're looking at here. Uh, there is a tone knob in place of the filter knob. Other than that, we got a distortion knob and we have a, uh, a volume or a level. So, um, let's start with everything at noon, turn some knobs, see if we can find some of the similarities and some differences in the way these two pedals sound. We'll start with the Rattler. <laughs> Thank you. 
So there we have it. The Jam Pedals Rattler. Um, there were definitely some similarities between the two. I thought both sounded great. Um, the Jam to me, and you know, some of this is having a tone knob versus a filter knob, but the Jam to me felt like it had just a little bit more to give on the low end. Um, and maybe a little bit tighter low end. Um, and it had uh, just a little bit more sparkle up top. It was also significantly louder than the Proco. The Proco is a Proco Rat, and it sounds exactly the way you want it to sound, and that was great. So they are different. This is not a clone of the Rat Pedal. Um, certainly has its own thing going on, has its own flavors going on. Speaking of its own flavors going on, tomorrow we will be looking at the Walrus Audio Iron Horse V2. That definitely has its own thing going on. And um, so that'll be fun. So stick around for that. And uh, hey, thank you for your time.